Love is lost and love is found It gets you high then pulls you down It brings you to your knees Then comes and sweeps you off your feet Love is blind but helps you see It makes you cry We welcome all of you here today as we've gathered together in the presence of God and these witnesses to join Darren and Wynn in holy matrimony. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. You may be seated. Marriage is a gift from God given to us so we might experience the joys of unconditional love with a lifelong partner. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony can create your marriage, only you can do that. Through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping and supporting and believing in each other, through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things matter and let go of the rest. What this ceremony can do is witness and affirm the choice you make to stand together as husband and wife. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this joyous day. Thank you for your light that has entered Darren and Wynn. Thank you for all the miracles and blessings. Bless this union. Help Wynn and Darren find the perfect place in this world for their love to flourish. Let the radiant light of their love shine on all those around them. God, bless them with the inner gifts of trust, companionship, forgiveness, and truth, that they may live and grow together in love and peace. Amen. Darren and Wynn, because your deep love for each other comes from God above, this is a sacred moment. And it is with great reverence that I now ask you to declare your intent. Darren, do you take Wynn to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain faithful to her for as long as you both shall live? I do. Wynn, do you take Darren to be your wedded husband? To live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony, do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain faithful to him for as long as you both shall live? Through the ages, man has tried to define love. Poems, songs, and books have all been written trying to describe this four-letter word, but the best description I found comes from God himself since he is the author of love. In his word in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, listen to what it says. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no records of wrong, love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. And now these three remain faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. Roman 12.10 says, be, do devo be devoted to one another in love, honor one another above yourselves. And Ephesians 4, 2 through 3 tells us to be completely humble and gentle, be patient, bearing with one another in love, make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Darren, you're going to repeat after me. I, Darren, take you when to be my wedded wife. I, Darren, when, I, Darren, when to you be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Death do us part. Win or after me. I win, take you, Darren, to be my wedded husband. I win, take you, Darren, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. To love and to cherish. And to love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. The wedding ring serves as a symbol of the promises you have just spoken. It is an outward, invisible sign of an inward, and invisible love that binds your two hearts together. 
The wedding ring is also a symbol of what God is. He is without beginning and without end. He is eternal. Who has the rings? Take her ring. Place on her ring finger and repeat after me. This ring I give in token and pledge. This ring I give in token and pledge. As a sign of my love and devotion. As the sign of my love and devotion. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. This ring I give in token and pledge. This ring I give in token and pledge. As a sign of my love and devotion. As my sign of love and devotion. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. The other hand. <laughs> okay. Today this relationship is symbolized through the pouring of these two individual containers of sand, one representing you, Darren, the other representing you, Wynn, and all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. As the two containers of sand are poured into the third container, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. Darren and Wynn, since you have consented together in holy matrimony and have pledged yourselves to each other by your solemn vows and by giving of the rings and have declared your commitment of love before God and these witnesses, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Darren, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Cooper. You say you'll be down in five. The smell of your perfume is floating down the stairs. You're fixing up your hair like you do. I know that I'll be a mess The second that I see you You won't be surprised It happens every time It's nothing new It's always on a night like tonight I thank God you can read my mind Cause when you look at me with those eyes I'm speechless Staring at you, standing there what it's doing to me ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do And I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room said hello just did something to me and i've been in a daze ever since the day that we met you take the breath out of my lungs can't even fight it and all of the words out of my mouth without even trying and i'm speechless staring at you standing there in that dress what it's doing to me Cause watching you is all that I can do And I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room You can read my 